Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Smith here. This is potentially a new series for my channel. I'm going to be developing a new mod pack and I'm going to show you how to do it with me. So I just recorded for like 25 minutes and uh, I had to ditch all that footage because it was pretty bad. So yeah, and today I'm going to show you how to do it with Coast and the next episode we're going to show you how to do it through Multi MC5. Okay, so with Coast, you want to go ahead and do create custom profile or Twitch launcher, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it video, version, whatever. You can't set up past 1.12, just won't work if you're making a mod pack. Go ahead and make that mod pack. And right here it says get mods, click on get mods. Go ahead and install a couple mods. I'm going to install that one, that one. I'm also going to get resource loader and custom main menu okay there we go so basically what you're gonna see here is I installed get my content up here by the way if you want to install even more it's just up here you don't have to go to open photo or anything it's just get more content and uh, go ahead and install so I installed JEI custom main menu and resource load and storage doors yet and install chameleon that's what i like about coast launcher it will go ahead and install the core mods for it as well so if you go click on dot 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 open folder you can see where this is all saved you should see three folders mods so this is where all my mods will save so if i go ahead click on play you should go ahead and launch the game in just a second, my Minecraft launcher pulls up. I'm running on integrated graphics because OBS just didn't want to do it today. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. So, uh, why I'm waiting for this, I'm actually going to go and search for something because it, like, disappeared for me and I kind of I kind of liked it. And uh, why? What is... Why? Oh, there's a like butterfly and I used to see us go. I was like, why why? 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 Um Yeah, so maybe it's in my program files actually. Program, program, program files. See there it is, actually. Okay. So what you're gonna do is once Minecraft goes ahead and opens, it doesn't even have to open all the way. It just has to get to, uh... So you see my Minecraft crashed right there. Why did it crash? See, what you're going to see here is Minecraft is going to pop up and it's going to say view crash. Before, and this is the logs. Okay? And I can scroll down this, but what I'm seeing here is all these OO2DA method just means I was using too much RAM at the time pretty much so we're just gonna click play again because I have five gigabytes of RAM on an eight gigabyte computer dedicated to Minecraft when I'm running off integrated graphics and I'm trying to do all this stuff it just don't it just it just give it a minute all right so uh, it should have gone ahead and installed most of the files we needed, though. If we do open folder, there it is. Config, logs, and logs is very important, because you see right there, if I open this WinRAR archive, uh, you can see it is saved right into there, and that's the, that's the crash report that just happened. It's like installing, blah, 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 very important. Latest log is the uh, another crash report thing of how it's thing. You can see right here setting user. This is my username. Just see some system detail. You don't really need to know how to code to do this. It's pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. So yeah, super simple. So let's go ahead and talk about configuration files. I want to change my config. If I go to my config, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like the custom main menu, so I want to change it. So I'm gonna open 
the file. I'll use brackets. If you're on Windows, probably use Notepad++. Uh, if you're on Mac, definitely recommend brackets. Such a good file editor, especially for Mac. I just think it's very pleasurable to the eyes. It's super nice. So you can see this is like Forge CFG, so never, never mess with that one. But storage for us. Just edit with Notepad++ or open with brackets. But you know what you holy cow that is loud. I don't know if that's loud for you. Like breaking my eardrums. So you can see four drawers, blah blah blah. So normally it will list what the item is and not just bunch of stuff. So you can see it says like compact words enable. So say I don't like that. I'm gonna backspace that. I don't want to, and I'm going to change that to false, all lowercase, never put caps, it just won't work. Control S or Command S, and uh, that is now saved. And I do have to restart my game, but I actually like story drawers, so I'm going to keep that the way it is. So you can see, if we look right here, if you go to the folder, it saves. I'm going to actually do it for right here, because I think it's kind of cool. And... I'm going to call it OOF. And if I go into single player, you see it's not going to be there. Obviously, that would be kind of weird, especially since it's a folder. Like, no, no work. Come, come, come on, man. Come on. You know you know better than this. Anyway, I said it's a... What? Boy, I didn't even realize it was on 1.12.2. I normally do 1.10.2, especially for my mod pack, the one. Okay, anyway, so I don't even need Minecraft anymore, like, you, get, you don't, you don't want to do it today, no, just, just don't want to do it, come on, you can do it, come on, come on, oh, 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 oh. really, you still, okay, there you go, so I wanted to actually force close it, that's actually pretty good, so I could show you this, and I expect that issue has a code, like I said, the logs earlier, Pretty nice. Okay. So, resources is for resource loader. Uh, let's talk about uploading your mod pack. So, I gave you a pretty straight up rundown. This is just quick. I'll probably do a whole series on me making a mod pack. So, don't even begin to worry about it. If this is super confusing to you, I'll have my whole series. It'll probably be like hour-long videos of me just making a mod pack. Uh, I probably won't even do that much talking in those. I'll just, just really just do it. It's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, let's talk about uploading the mod pack. So let's upload a video. I'm going to right-click it. We're actually going to go into it. Dot, dot, dot. Export profile. And you don't want to select, oh, I want to do logs, resource, and resource packs. If you have a resource pack, do resource packs. Uh, if you have a world that you want, do saves. Uh, but for, I'm doing something that I do in all the mod packs I make. I make a new folder, and I call it, uh, I do colon, one, colon, or parentheses, so I don't know why it's a colon. And I call it read me. So this puts it directly at the top with the the one and then I put a text document in here called read me. And in this text document I normally like do like don't mess with uh don't mess with I probably spelled that wrong. I don't know why I don't know how to spell custom. I just don't want to do it. Main menu files it's something i don't want you to mess with because i say uh if you do you will uh corrupt i don't know how to spell corrupt <laughs> your minecraft mod pack and maybe even twitch do at your own risk. So, that's what that's going to say. And if I go back to the Twitch, you can see it's, it's not going to be there because I have to refresh this. Export profile. 
uh, package version, do whatever version. So says this is third version of my pack. 3.0 for most people. It's going to be probably labeled as a 0 0.1, actually, because you're probably going to do want to do quite a bit of upload. So then I'm going to, since I want README for everyone to get, I'm going to mark off README. Click on OK, and you're going to see what it's going to do, and you're going to save it to right there. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go to coastforge.com. Don't go to coast.com, coastforge. And at the top, make sure you log in with your Coast or Twitch account. Top it says client, become an author, support desk, and feedback. Click on become an author. Once you're on the author page, go to Minecraft. If it's not already selected, click on start your project. Go to mod pack, start project. Name it whatever you want. Uh, for me, you should actually probably put something there. Uh, especially with the description. Uh... Make sure you have a good description of description of like what your mod pack is, or it, uh, Coast will not upload it. This actually happened to me the first time I uploaded a mod pack to Coast. So make sure you actually have a good description, not just mod pack, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, you can't put all those socials in there, but label it, give it a description. So mine is just video, and that's a that's a pretty accurate description right there, actually. Uh, project license, make sure it says all rights reserved. Don't change any of this. You see, like, strip liability and otherwise, it. Basically, this is legal crap. Just set it to all rights reserved. I'm, t I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Go to category, say whatever it wants. So mine is a... Uh, Mine's exploration, sure. It's also combat and extra large and magic and multiplayer. So logo, go ahead and put that whatever you want. I'm actually gonna do that. I downloaded if I can find it. Dreams.png. I think that's it. Open and uh, don't select this experimental, even if it is, because then they won't upload it. Uh, author's rewards is how you get free money. You don't have to do it. I do it because it's, it's cool. And then, uh, if it gives you an error, see? So mine gave me an error, so that was not the right, uh, one. So let me actually pull that up, and it is called Smith YT Cropped. So, I'm going to go down to here, Smith YT Cropped. And I'm going to do start project now. And if the file is okay, it will take you to your overview page. It has to be a one by one. Uh, your projects have been created. Uh, this is a new project. Once the file is uploaded for the project, it will be reviewed by a moderator until approved by a moderator. The project is not visible by others. And its files will be synthesized across the course network. What this is basically saying until you get approved, you. you you're never gonna get any downloads. So, it is posted, actually. I didn't even mean to post it. So, yeah, they'll probably say, like, they'll, they'll give you an email for this account. You know, it might even say we're not approving it, because this is a video. I might upload the email, like a picture of it, to, uh, uh, Instagram. If you go to settings, you can see all that description. Right there are members. If you want more people to be able to make changes to this, source. This is the source is not code of a. If you like made this on GitHub, put, put GitHub. These are files. No budget files were found. Oof, okay. Because you actually haven't uploaded your mod pack yet. Just made it. A PC image and file. Click on file. On choose file and find where it is saved. So mine is saved in my coast folder and in my export, and it's called video.zip. It has to be .zip. It should be uploading. And I'm just gonna do video test if if approved all laugh. 
Okay. And you can set to this is the official release, this is the beta, or this is the alpha. And basically the version of Minecraft is for, so mine is for 1.12.2. And you're going to scroll down and submit file. So now what you see, video test, uh, if approved, I'll laugh. So you can see uploaded one minute ago, version 1.12.2, downloads, obviously, the status it is processing. So your, uh, your mod pack is now uploaded to the Coast Forge. So if you go all the way back to uh, uh, that's course coastforge.com become an author I probably just backspaced all my work but start your project modpacks.project should take you back to your project modpack so you can see uh, my projects, no projects were found. <sighs> I just backpaced all of that. So yeah, I'm going to go to Coast Forge again, and it should go ahead and actually say author portal. But it didn't. So real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, so that's how you do it. Don't back base again. Very bad decision, let me tell you. Uh, uh, yeah. So there you go. That you just uploaded your mod pack to that, to Twitch. And once it's verified, it can be uploaded to uh, Launcher instead of just the website. So my latest mod pack is in beta. It's not called MC1, it's called Dreams. This is the official version, we'll be right here. Smith YT presents Dreams 1.0, and I installed those same mods. I actually really like those mods. And, uh, yeah. So, if this video is helpful, go ahead and leave it a big fat like. If you can do that, be greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, guys, this is just. Thanks for the support. I haven't been getting that much support lately. A couple people have been sticking around for me, and I kind of appreciate that. Like, I, I really do. So, just, just thank you, guys. So, this is going to be the end of this video. Uh, further of me developing my mod pack coming soon. Peace. Out, guys. Let me just jam real quick. Alright, bye, guys.